Yo. That's all I gotta say, man. Yo. So, what are we doing this time? We got another death battle. Now, this is pretty interesting, and we all knew this was gonna happen. Omni Man versus Ho Homelander. Now, see, I've only seen Invincible. Like, I didn't see The Boys, the TV show yet, so I don't know shit about Highlander. All I know is that he's a psychopath. He's insane. Superman ripoff, and uh, he's like, it's like the usual, you know, uh, evil Superman trope, except times 100. Remember that time where he lasered all the people, and he let those people die in the plane? I, like, I see little clips of the boys. I might just have to see the boys. And after this, I might just, because usually what Death Files do, they show you, like, shit from the shows and stuff like that. So maybe this is going to motivate me to watch the boys. At the moment, I'm watching Breaking Bad. First episode I was already in, I'm like, I'm in this bitch. Yeah, it's a pretty fucking awesome show. All right, um, but regardless of the fact, who do I want to put my money on? Um, Omni Man at this point. See, but Homeland has lasers, but is that gonna make a difference? You know what? Because all I know is that Omni Man's crazy. He came from Voltrum or Viltrumite or whatever the fuck it is, and he it was literally like a giant battle royale. They all had to find out who's the strongest by killing everyone else. So the guy's no joke. Okay, he's scary. All right, he murdered the entire Guardians of the Globe in like the first episode. Yeah, he, he don't fuck around. Yeah, I know, he does not. Um, a lot of people be mentioning that, like, uh, Homeland was, like, unstable. Whereas, uh, Omni-Man seems like, he, he seems really focused. He has a goal, you know? He's like, oh, we gotta take over this planet. You're just, like, a pet to me. I'm sorry. So, I'm gonna have to give this one to Homeland. Home, I mean, uh, Omni-Man, to be honest. Besides, the mustache and J. Jonah Jameson-ness gives him a, an extra uh, bonus in, in terms of combat. You may not believe it, but it's true. The mustache helps. So I'm giving this one to Omni Man. All right, we'll see after the analysis and shit like that. But at the moment, it's Omni Man. All right, three, two, one. This episode of Death Battle is sponsored by BetterHelp and Mint Mobile. Okay, whatever. It's been a while since he's done Death Battle. The invincible champion. Invincible, from huh? Yeah, we get it. We get it. Homelander, the world's greatest superhero, brought to you by Vought International. Few heroes have stood the test of time with more aplomb than the very first, Superman. But what if absolute power did, in fact, corrupt? corrupt. Absolutely. George Answer, Washington. We're all screwed. We're all, yeah, and we're all screwed. Stick. And it's our job to analyze their weapons, armor, and skills to find out who would win a death battle. Damn. Uh, you know, hold on, wait. I'm, I'm just letting this out here. I'm just letting everyone know that if both Omni Man and Homelander would try to team up on Superman, Superman will clap them like in two seconds. They are nothing in front of Superman. Superman is like leagues ahead of Omni Man and Homelander. Even if Omni Man and Homelander would team up to take down Superman, they would not be able to do it. Superman's, well, he's Superman. That's, that's why. He's literally called Superman, right? Here we are. Look up in the sky. It's a bird. It's a plane. No, it's Omni Man. <laughs> Had you go in there for a second, huh? Yeah. Uh, not really. His name is in the title of the video. Yeah. Well, he might be forgiven for mistaking Nolan Grayson for his classic comic inspiration. He's even got that sexy mustache that he's not afraid to hide with terrible CGI. <laughs> Born on the planet nice. Meltrum, Nolan was sent to Earth to act as its super-powered alien defender and spread the enlightenment of his utopian homeworld. And as his superhero alter ego Omni Man, there was no one better suited to the task. He saved the world countless times, worked alongside the guardians of the globe, and even married and had a son, Mark. Life couldn't be better until Mark inherited his dad's Viltrumite powers. That's when Mark found out that his dad was a stinking rat bastard liar. Rat bastard. Turns out, Viltrum wasn't exactly the peaceful utopia Nolan promised. Peaceful in the sense that they Battle killed Royale. half their population, murdering billions with their bare hands until only the strongest were left, united by a common purpose. This Viltrumite empire then went on to conquer planet after planet in their home galaxy, murdering any who dared oppose them. Damn. So just scratch that whole peaceful part entirely. Yeah. And turns out Omni-Man was here to do that same thing to yeah. Earth. Sorry, Mark. Your dad's a dick. Dad's Even a worse, dick. he's easily the most powerful being on the entire planet. Imagine combining the raw power of a Kryptonian and the bloodlust of a Saiyan. And what you get is basically a Viltrumite. Ouch. Due to their unique DNA, Viltrumites are composed of smart atoms that they can manipulate to achieve superhuman feats, like holding their breath for weeks on end by drawing more energy from the oxygen inside them. 
Kind of reminds me of that whole bioelectric aura thing Superman has. That's basically how comic writers bullshit a science explanation for his yeah, powers. Yeah, yeah. Except smart atoms make even less sense. Smart how can atoms. atomic structure be designated by your DNA? DNA is made of atoms. It's completely nonsensical biological hogwash that I cannot stand. Uh-oh, comics fans. I'm calling this debunk. Viltrumites can fly, withstand near absolute zero temperatures, and even possess insane healing factors. A casual you know stuff like getting punched through the stomach, having your guts ripped out, Fuck. or having your face smashed up in a tomato soup. By I your dad. Exaggerate, but Viltrumites in this series get fucked up and somehow survive. However, Hell. too much trauma to the brain or heart can overtax their healing factors, and intense heat can be especially damaging. Even the most powerful Viltrumites can be killed by extended baths in the spicy hot plasma of a star. And because of their abilities, their inner ear vestibular system is far more sensitive than a regular human's. Intense sonic pressure will disrupt their fragile equilibrium and Damn. even prevent them from flying. So, sure. pushing themselves like to physical limits only ends up making them way stronger. And considering Nolan has been alive and planet conquering for thousands of years, he is easily one of the toughest Viltrumites around. Like, other aliens attacking him will literally splattered their bodies against him but mark didn't inherit everything from his dad despite he gets his shit smacked all the time mark was raised as a human with our weak pathetic human values yeah like love and compassion exactly and not brutally murdering the shit out of everyone you see like a maniac yep. really made it difficult for nolan to relate to his kid such as when these aliens invaded earth Mark tried his best to minimize casualties and outsmart his numerically superior foes. Nolan, meanwhile, tackled their leader through the portal back to their homeworld, then spent some time Sick. systematically annihilating their planet for even daring to take Earth from him. Classic Damn. generational divide. Annihilate is underselling it. Nolan flew so fast that his body lit their planet's atmosphere on fire, Damn. creating massive country-sized explosions Shit. with his own body as the projectile. Omni-Man has flown across Hot galaxies down. in only a week, survived punching a hole through a planet, and even deflected a meteor the size of Texas. Assuming that means the diameter of the meteor is equivalent to the distance from the top of the panhandle to the Gulf of Mexico, that would make it 1,300 kilometers wide. I don't understand any of this bullshit right here. 4.6 quintillion tons, moving at re-entry speeds of over 11,000... Damn, boy, second, he's thick, boy. ...with enough energy to destroy the moon twice over. So Omni-Man is strong enough to slaughter those Shit. who considered him an ally, the Guardians of the Globe, all to ensure as seamless a transition to the coming Viltrumite rule as possible. Too bad for Nolan, it wouldn't be that easy, because he'd have to go through his son first. Mark was horrified by his father's treachery, spurred on by the reveal that Nolan only viewed his mother as a pet, Fuck. a disposable broodmare. Damn. Invincible fought Omni-Man to save the planet. But he and got a shit smack. Mark's real Viltrumite training began. Get it? Training. training. Like the train? Yes, we yeah, did we, yeah, it. Yeah. It was a good pun. Jesus. <laughs> but if anything, it was Omni-Man that learned a lesson about humanity that day. He may have tried to turn Mark into a Viltrumite, but in reality, as Nolan fled Earth with tears in his eyes, Mark made his father human. Damn. What about that beast guy? Battle Beast. He's badass, bro. I'm pretty sure Omni-Man doesn't want to fight him. The reason Omni-Man did not interfere is because he didn't want to fight Battle Beast. Because he knew Zoom is just one, two, I can actually need this, bro. I need therapy like, so bad. Therapy I'm losing it. I mean, look at me. Hours. Like, I'm wearing this. Oh. Alright, Homelander. Come on, see it. It's a Homelander. Welcome to Vought International, a multi billion dollar American conglomerate whose number one products are the greatest superheroes on the face of the earth. That's right. Superheroes are real and they're big business. Imagine a company that possesses a monopoly OCP? on popular culture, pumping out movies, TV shows, action figures, and video games constantly, drowning the masses in a slurry of focus-tested nostalgia opium with no end in sight. Yeah, imagine. Imagine, Bart, right? Yeah, Daniel, imagine. The gods Among Men is their premier super team, The Seven, and its leader, Homelander. He's got the looks, the charm the jesus and most importantly he's got the power to slaughter all of america's enemies at home and Holy abroad fuck. this guy probably he really goes jaw out. Shits eagles. but homelander's squeaky clean corporate sheen is only skin deep far from the big blue boy scout he's marketed as homelander is probably the closest thing to lucifer on earth Holy remember shit. bad future biff from back to the future 
Now give him superpowers and media training. Vought's official story is that Homelander was an alien who landed here as a baby, a tale we're all familiar with. And one that's total bullshit, Homie was made in a lab with Vought's proprietary super soldier serum, Compound V. And he was a complete success. Too much of a success. He was murdering rooms of terrified scientists before his umbilical cord was even cut. Holy In fuck. the comics, Vought had to keep a remote-controlled hydrogen bomb strapped to him at all times. Damn. And they had no idea what else could possibly kill him. Holy As shit. he grew up, he was subjected hydrogen to psychological bomb? conditioning to make him the greatest and most profitable hero of all time. It wasn't long before he debuted as Homelander, the ultimate defender of the American dream. Homelander possesses massively superhuman strength, speed, and durability. He can fly at hypersonic speeds, see through walls with x-ray vision, and detect a person's emotional state from just the sound of their heartbeat. But you know you're done for when he breaks out his heat vision, which is strong enough to slice through crowds of people Classic or Superman split stuff. airplanes in half. Or scream so loud that it shatters the eardrums of anyone around Black him. Balls? Those are innocent bystanders <laughs> whose ears are exploding, by the way. <laughs> oh yeah, he totally botched this mission to stop a plane hijacking, so he forced each and everyone on board to die in the resulting crash so they wouldn't reveal his incompetence. Damn. Well, the Homelander's powers may be real, but his heroism is a charade. Though he plays his part well, he cares nothing for the peons he's forced to protect. The only thing he treasures is, ironically, his public image. Turns out being raised as a lab experiment doesn't create a healthy person. But don't <laughs> worry, he eventually cleaned up his act and started a totally 100% healthy sexual relationship with a fellow superhero. Who just happened to be an actual Nazi. Bruh. Speaking of sex, wish, you know how I'm always saying we should figure out how Superman and Lois uh, get busy? Well, forget that, because Homelander proved that they can't when his ejaculation blew his partner to smithereens. Fuck. Who proved that? <laughs> Look, there's no way to sugarcoat this. Considering a human's load has much load. less mass than a shotgun pellet, it would have to be moving significantly faster to achieve the same kinetic energy. Over 1,500 meters per second, or 4.5 times faster me. than sound. That's right. Homelander can bust a nut faster than the speed of sound. Well, good night, everybody. Ooh, kind of <laughs> sucks for humanity that they made this dude the most powerful being on the planet and a psycho murderer. That's no exaggeration. Stillwell even commented that Homelander has proven immune to every weapon known to mankind, no matter how powerful. Humanity literally lacks the ability to kill him. That would include nuclear weapons as powerful as the Tsar bomb, which exploded with the energy of 50 megatons of TNT. Actually, it could have exploded with twice that, but the Soviets who created it were afraid it would irreversibly alter Earth's biosphere and end the world. That's right, we all almost died. And that's the kind of shit Homelander can shrug off no problem. He's strong enough to throw a jet with one hand and fast enough to outspeed a C4 explosion. Despite being an emotionally stunted man-child, Homelander is still surprisingly cunning and able to manipulate those around him. Though it probably wasn't too smart to piss off the world's angriest limey, Billy Butcher. Yeah, turns out forcibly fathering a bastard son with someone else's wife is not a good idea. Of note, as unjustifiable as it is, to Homelander, this gave him something he never had before. Some small measure of control over his own life. Being born Vaught's star pupil meant he was under their thumb from the day he was born. His super-powered son was the first thing that was truly his and might be his best option for a new beginning. Fuck, just getting him off the... Or... Not. Or not. Just accidentally killed him. Whoops. Damn, Homelander's insane. Crazier than Omni-Man, definitely. Yeah. So, I'm like, yeah, I mean... Fuck, I mean... I definitely don't lie about Homelander. I always knew he was a psychopath, right? I always knew he was always just like a child in a man's body, right? But wow, he is terrifying. I might just have to watch boys just to see how they take him down because they have to take him down, right? There's no way they, they, they can't not take him down, right? I mean, come on. What's his kryptonite, you know? What's Omni-Man's kryptonite, right? Did anyone specify that? The fuck? But yeah, um... <sighs> now looking at all the research and shit, I don't know who's gonna win, to be honest. It's always so neck and neck. I want to say Omni Man, but I also want to say. You know what? The fact that they said that literally nothing can kill him, I'm going to have to go with Homelander. Yeah. The fact that he's literally like built in a lab and like nothing can kill him. Hydrogen bombs, SAR bombs, can't do shit to this guy. Yeah, I think, I think I'm going to go with Homelander on this one. I've never seen the show. 
I know Omni Man more. I've actually seen the show, right? Oh, I've seen. Okay, fuck okay, it. We're getting it. So, Homeland, okay? We got it. All right, the combatants are set. We've run the data through all possibilities. It's time for a death, death battle! battle! It's been a while, but we're back. That's. Yeah, his house. Omni Man's house. Howdy, neighbor. Coco? It's warm. You know, Nolan, Homelander is more than just a superhero. They might be cynical to say this, but he's a, a brand. And it's very important to me that that brand means something. And if I'm playing second fiddle to some goddamn alien, what's really the point, right? What do you think, Debbie? No, oh, she's shy. So, do we have an understanding? Get the fuck out of my country. Get the fuck out of my country. <laughs> Damn. I'm like accurate, right? I'm going to feed you your own heart. Nice. Omni Man. <laughs> Shit. That was a great line. Get the fuck out of here. But then again, Omni Man has been fighting for years. Seriously? I'm not here for your country. Huh. I'm here for your world. Yeah, I don't know who's going with this though. He loves doing that. He just loves putting it in front of transportation. Never mind. Omni Man seems like he's in control I right here. Some of your own signs before. You have to turn with the punch to reduce. Better. Power driver. Oh, once again, his thing, right? The weakness. All right. How was it, Homelander? No, Omni Man. No, Homelander. Okay, fuck it. Homelander. All right, Homelander. What's the matter? Are you going to cry? Doctor, I'm done with you! I'm gonna flash fry that little shit son of yours! This wildless neighborhood! And every goddamn person you know! Oh my god, here's his dial. Holy shit, is he blind? He's gonna feed it to him, isn't he? Christmas. K.O. Wiz, if there's a god, it sure seems like he was working out some aggression there. Despite Homelander's dominance within the world of the boys, he's a big fish in a small pond, relatively speaking. Homelander can move faster than sound, while Omni-Man can move faster than light. Homelander can survive a nuke, while Omni-Man can shatter the moon twice over. To be fair, Homelander did have a couple of abilities Omni-Man didn't, like his heat vision. And while Viltrumite healing factors have failed against continuous exposure to the heat of stars, that still took quite a bit of time, and there's no reason to think Homelander's heat vision was anywhere near that hot. Hell, Nolan's tanked heat vision from the superhero Mean Supreme before, who can vaporize people in an instant. Even if it was hot enough, Omni-Man's superior speed would cut him off before he could do any lasting damage. Similarly, despite being able to disrupt his equilibrium with his supersonic screaming, Homelander wasn't strong enough to capitalize on it in any meaningful way. Plus, while Homelander is pretty devious when the situation calls for it, Omni-Man has been fighting and conquering worlds for That's thousands what I said, that's what I said, thousands of years. from a warrior culture based warrior on culture. fighting. Fighting Homelander, on the other hand, comes from a test tube and never had to push himself as a fighter because yeah. he was always so much stronger than everyone else. That's also fast. that's the key difference between them. Mm. One is a warrior and the other is a bully. Damn. Homelander was never going to give up easy, but Omni-Man's skill, power, and Viltrumite heritage earned him the win. Fuck. When it comes to Superman knockoffs, Homelander had to eat his heart out. <laughs> the winner is Omni-Man. Fuck, I lost again. I said Homelander but it was Omni-Man. Fuck. God damn, bro. Why, why am I like on a consistent losing streak all the fucking time? Every time I say this person's gonna win, it's the opposite person. Fuck!
but yeah, uh, but you saw midway, I was going through an existential crisis as who was going to win. But in this battle, it seemed like uh, Omni-Man was really much, he was like in control and he was like calm and shit, whereas Homelander lost his shit, right? So I guess, I guess that's cool, right? But yeah, it was, it was Omni-Man the entire time. Fuck. Fuck. But uh, yeah, that was, the, that was the death battle. You already know, two super-powered psychopaths. Dugan and out. That was actually a surprisingly short battle. Like the battle itself was short, but yeah, that was grotesque. That was cool. He ripped his fucking jaw off and then stuck his heart in it. That was that was quite nice. I mean, not that's not a nice thing to do to a person, but like it was creative. It's, that's like that's, that should be like a Mortal Combat like fatality. Ripping someone's jaw out. I don't know. Right? Cool. Cool. So that was the episode, and I have been chilling, and you're about to get fucked. So why?